Odoricio. Today, I'm privileged to tell you about serving as the principal investigator of the SPORE, a specialized program of research excellence awarded to the University of Iowa by the National Cancer Institute. We will be studying neuroendocrine tumors. Neuroendocrine tumors, or NETs as we call them, are slow-growing tumors that can arise in any organ of the body that has endocrine cells. Doctors Howe, Braun, and Belize have identified 13 families with neuroendocrine tumors in two or more generations. With funding from this SPORE grant, this group of investigators are now sequencing the genes in familial neuroendocrine tumors to find the driver mutations that really cause an endocrine cell to become malignant. With this SPORE funding, Drs. Quell and Darbro continue their work to discover how this particular gene mutation enables a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor to continue to multiply and to resist chemotherapy agents. They are also developing a clinical test to help clinicians identify pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors before they spread to the liver. This would enable those patients to have their tumor cured with surgery. Our third project, is led by Drs. Bushnell, Schultz, Pidge, and Madsen. They have designed a new therapy for neuroendocrine tumors that arise in the small intestine. The SPORE grant provides funds to perform a clinical trial using this innovative therapy. The fourth project is led by Drs. Menda, Martin, and myself. We identify hormone receptors on neuroendocrine tumors and then design peptides that can bind tightly to these receptors. By adding a radioactive tag to each peptide, we can actually use the peptide for PET imaging. If a patient's tumor lights up on the PET scan, we can then add a high energy radioactive tag to the peptide and use it for targeted radiotherapy. The SPORE provides funds for us to design and synthesize these new targeted peptides. The SPORE grant also provides support for research services that are used by each of our four projects. I feel very privileged to lead this incredible group of scientists and clinicians who are working to bring earlier diagnosis, improved therapies, and ultimately improved length and quality of life to patients with neuroendocrine tumors.